Hey everyone, Julian here and welcome back to episode 7 of the Learning Flask series. In this episode we're going to be working with forms. We're going to be posting data from a form up to our application. We're going to be working with that data and we're going to be returning a response to our users. Now forms or any kind of input are essential for any kind of web application or website. We need a way for our users to communicate with our app. We need a way to collect that data, handle that data, and then do something with it. So let's jump straight in. As always, I do have a text-based version over at the website. I'll throw a link in the description. We've got a terminal. We've got our local host open with the uh, Flask development server running. And we've got an editor. So let's go ahead and Flask run. So first things first, let's go ahead and create a new route. We do that, of course, with app root, and then we pass it a URL. So we're going to go ahead and create a very, very basic sign up page. So let's write our function sign up, and we're going to create a new template. So uh, let's go ahead and return a render template, and I'm going to put that in public, and I'm going to call it signup.html so let's go ahead and create that file in fact i've already got one here but i'm going to go ahead and delete that and we're going to start from scratch so new file so first things first we want to import our base template so we do that with extends and then we give it a file name to our template and in our case it's public templates and public template.html Uh, public yep templates public template.html let's create a quick title sign up and of course we need to end block now our block main close up with an end block and let's go ahead and give ourselves some space now if you're not following along with this series and you haven't got this template that's fine just go ahead and create an HTML page and follow along you'll be absolutely fine now we're of course using the bootstrap CSS library so we're going to create a div with the class of container a row and a column and inside let's give ourselves an h1 with sign up and a horizontal rule go ahead and save that let's actually create a little bit of space for us to work in i need to sort out this spacing as well there we go save and format document now if we come to sign up in our browser there we go we get our sign up page rendering nicely so first things first let's go ahead and create a form we use that with the HTML form tag. And any form needs an action. Now the action attribute takes a URL where you want to send that form data to in our case. We want to send it to slash sign up. So let's go ahead and put that in the action, sign up and the method that we want to use. And that's the HTTP method. We're using post because we're posting new data to our server. So. The way we do that is with method and give that a value of post. Now let's go ahead and create some input fields. Now in Bootstrap we use, I believe it's form group. Let me double check my notes here. Yep, form group. And inside that I'm going to give ourselves a label for each of the form elements. And we're going to create three. We're going to create a username, an email, and a password. Now let's create our input element. And I'm going to leave that as a type of text, which is fine. I'm also going to give that a class of input. No, I believe it's form control. And again, these are just bootstrap classes. You could just do this with, uh, with the native browser stuff. It's absolutely fine. Now forms. Working with form data in Flask, we need to 
create a name attribute in all of the inputs of the HTML. So we do that handily with name. So I'm going to call this username, but you know, you don't have to call it username. You can call it whatever you want, whatever makes sense to the type of input data you're trying to collect, try and keep it relevant. So let's copy and paste and paste quickly format these. Let's create an email and let's create a password. And this I want type of email because I want our browser to do a bit of uh, rudimentary validation and password and that will just hide the input from the uh, from the user in the browser so we'll give that the name of email and we'll give that the name of password let's go ahead and create a button element and the type of button is going to be a submit button and the bootstrap class we're going to use is btn and btn dash primary and we'll put some text on there saying sign up perfect so we've got our form uh, i'll leave that as is for now if we go ahead and refresh we get three nice input elements there username email and password so let me just show you what happens if you go ahead and click sign up now we're going to get an error method not allowed and we get that error because we haven't told our route to expect a, uh, a post request. It's not aware that this route wants, you know, that, me that method type. So we actually need to go ahead and define it. Now you might be thinking, well, it's allowing a get request. You know, we haven't had to declare that anywhere. And yeah, you'd be correct. Flask routes um, allow get requests by default. Uh, we have other requests in HTTP, we have post, we have put, we have delete. These are all methods that you need to declare in the root. Now we do that with the following. We use the methods keyword and we give it a value of the types of requests that we want to send to this root. So we're going to put get and we're going to put post. So again, that goes uh, inside the parentheses of the app.root. We've got our URL followed by the methods keyword and our equal symbol. And then we're giving it a list of the methods that we want to allow. So now if we come back to our uh, sign up page and go ahead and click sign up, you can see we can click that. We can see our um, terminals giving us some output and we can see there we've got a get request. And actually this was the one before with the post request. So now this is up and running, allowing post requests to our route. So how do we actually get at the data from our form? You know, if we were to fill it in now, it's not really going to do much. You know, I can create a username, let's create a random email and a random password, click sign up. That all goes through, but you know, it's not really helping us because we're not doing anything with this form data. We need to, we need to capture it. We need to do something. So how do we do that? Well, first things first, we need to import something from Flask and we're going to import request. And while I'm here, I'm also going to import redirect. Now the request object in Flask is extremely powerful and has lots of functionality that we're going to explore throughout this series. But for now, we're just going to use it to get at our form data. So let's go ahead and create a bit of space here. First thing I want to do is create a bit of validation. So um, let me type it out and then I will explain it after. So if request.method equals to post, we're going to do something. So this is just a bit of validation to say that we only want whatever code is in this if statement inside this block to run when the method is post. Otherwise, it's just going to do this by default. So what do we want to do? We want to access our form data, of course. And we do that with the request.form. Now, request.form is essentially a uh, special type of dictionary, which is going to serialize that form data coming in and give us a nice dictionary to work with. So I'm going to store that in a variable called rec, standing for request. So what happens if we go ahead and just print rec? Oh, not redirect. I want to print rec. Go ahead and save. 
Now we could either just let this if statement run and then return the render template, but while I'm here, I'm going to do the following. Uh, return redirect for the request.url. So pretty self-explanatory. The redirect function allows us to redirect our client to various points of our app, and we're gonna be using redirect later in the series. I just wanted to introduce it to you now. And we're gonna redirect them to the URL of the request. Now the request came in from sign up, and that's where we're gonna redirect them. So let's go ahead and fill out some of our form. Let's put a random username and an email julian at gmail.com for example and a password go ahead and sign up and we can see we get this immutable multi-dict which is a special type of dictionary in flask but we can essentially treat it like a normal python dictionary as i will show you shortly and you can see there we've got username and we've got the value that we uh, put into our form We've got email and we've got a value for password as well. So let's go ahead and do something with them. Now, like I said, we can treat this like a normal Python dictionary. So what I like to do is capture all of our form data into individual variables. So let's go ahead and create them. We have a username and we can just um, access them like we would a normal dictionary using the keys. So we can do rec and then we can do a couple of different ways. We can either provide a, uh, a key in square brackets, username. We can do the following. We can do email. We can do rec.get. So we can use the get method on the dictionary to return a value. So another option we can also use if you didn't want to um, store all of this form data into a single variable, you can access it from the request.form object uh, directly. So we also had a password, so you could do request.form, and you can either use .get and then provide a key, or you can just use the square bracket. So in our case, our name attribute was set to password. So now we've captured all of these variables from our form and we can work with them. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and print username, email, and password. Go ahead and save that. Now, if we go ahead and stick a username and a email and a random password, go ahead and submit the form. And you can see there, we get our values printed out, which we've stored in variables. So we've got Julian Nash, we got julian at gmail.com and we've got the gobbledygook password that we just entered. So really, that's all I wanted to show you in this one. Just a quick way to be able to access form data coming in. So what we'll do, we'll just recap. We've imported the request and redirect objects from Flask and uh, created a route called sign up and declared the methods that we want to allow this route to use. In our case, we want get, because we want the client to be able to come to this URL and get the contents of that HTML. And we also want our client to be able to post data up to our server in that form. We then created a uh, small bit of validation here in our um, if statement. So this block of code here is only gonna fire when the root receives a post request. We've captured our form data into a variable called rec using the request.form. We've then accessed all of the uh, keys and values from, well, all the values from our dictionary in various different ways. We've then done something with those values and redirected our client back to the URL of the request. So let's just take one quick glance at our um, form that we created. Um, you need to create the action attribute with the URL of where you want to post the form data to. And we gave it the method attribute of post because we are posting data to the server, it's new data. And then of course, in any of the input elements, you need to create a name attribute and then you can just give it any name that you want, but I suggest that you just keep it relevant. We then of course got our button so we can submit the data. So that pretty much wraps it up for this one. If you've got any uh, comments or questions, leave them down below. 
I'll throw a link to the website. You can go ahead and read through this if you want any more detail. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.